Wow. Okay, welcome back to DBL. That's just <laughs> one of the tricks Tiffany Thiessen has for leftovers. In fact, she has a new cookbook. I'm already lusting over cereal milk popsicles, you That's guys. delicious for kids. I know. Unbelievable. Okay, so the new cookbook is filled with recipes for everything from cold pizza to breakfast cereal. To tell us more, please welcome to the show Tiffany Thiessen. Yes. yes. Well. So good, Tiffany. So good to see you. I love this because I love leftovers. In fact, I had friends in town all weekend and we barbecued and I had everything left over, threw it in a crock pot, made a nice chili. Very oh, proud of myself. Look at you. I'm Look. so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. So where did your passion from cooking come from? Oh gosh, it started right, I mean, I feel like right when I was born, I was that little girl peering through the, the kitchen, watching all the women in my family, cooking together, having fun, and I just wanted to hang out with them. Yeah, I like it. I do, too. I want to know what the craziest thing to happen to you while cooking was, because I heard you might have started a fire. This sounds like <laughs> me in the kitchen. <laughs> Talk to me, twins. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good for me when I'm trying to sell a cookbook right now. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Um, no, it was actually when I was doing a TV show called Dinner at Tiffany's, and I started an oil fire, which is a pretty, I didn't even know it, that's what was so funny, the camera was on me, I was talking to the camera, doing my thing, and I didn't realize it, but the flames were like getting bigger and bigger, and my camera guy was like, look down. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, okay, let's talk about uh, something that we've been kind of discussing, because we recently did a story that said family dinners are too old-fashioned for 2023. So what are your thoughts on that? That's a good question. It actually makes me very sad because I really sort of look forward to family dinners. It's our time to connect as a family. It's a time to put down the devices. It's a time to talk about our day, to be able to talk about maybe tomorrow. Like, I, I grew up where family dinners were extremely precious and very much looking for, you know, that we looked forward to it, you know, we really, really did. And so we keep it going. We, we eat at home a lot, actually. Those are cute kids. I'm just, I'm sitting here looking at Kelly uh, off camera, nodding her head. I think that family dinners are a big deal to people, yep. but it's been made to feel antiquated, but maybe we need to get back to that and Absolutely. reconnect. So I totally agree with you on that. Now, I don't know, any chance you can get to be able to connect and, and without using devices and stuff like that, to me, is much more important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you and your family have taken RV trips in the past couple of years. I have to ask you, what do you love about the open road? See, I would love to do this in theory, but I feel like we, both my kids would get car sick about a mile and a half in. <laughs> what kind of road you're on yeah <laughs> really. that's true. But, um, no it's kind of you know I, I tell my kids this I said it's really fun of course to get on a plane and go somewhere and go to the destination that you're scheduled to go to but there's something really interesting and fun and cool to take a road trip somewhere where you're seeing things that are not planned you're seeing mm. little towns that are not on the map that you don't know about seeing experiences that you're you know that you didn't normally sort of plan out when you're when you're taking a plane drive you know a plane ride how adventurous. Can you imagine Tiffany Thiessen coming to your little town? Hong Kong, hello! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of You never know. I love it. That's a whole show totally. in its own. Oh. So speaking of nostalgia, I love your Taco Tuesday video with an old friend. Any chance we will see more dinners like this? And who handles their spice better? You or Mario? Ooh. I would say probably Mario. I just feel like being that he's Mexican, he's probably a little bit better than me but i do love a good spice i know spice but I'm is saying, good i would say he's probably gonna be better All you know right. and i just opened the page to her spaghetti pie oh my did you know you can make a spaghetti pie mm -hmm. now i do oh. i know <laughs> i mean everybody has leftover pasta and spaghetti so i had to do that this is phenomenal it's a great idea Save a lot no of people money. Never thought about that yeah, yeah. and a lot of money that's well, a great I point really, I can, the idea that I wanted was to really kind of showcase my kids to show them how important it is not to waste food, right? I mean, it's we waste like about 40% of our food as a society, which is crazy to think. It's one of the number one reasons for climate change, you know, the impact that we put as humans. And, and so I really wanted to teach my kids that. I also, you know, food's expensive. I mean, people, a lot of people are on budgets. I grew up, we were my, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money. So we were stretching food all the time. My mom is literally the queen of leftovers. I learned a lot of this from her and my roasted chicken would turn into enchiladas the next night. I didn't even know it. Mm. I love this. So practical. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Congratulations. And thank you for joining us today. DBL Nation, Tiffany's cookbook is out now. So be sure to pick up a copy. Thank you again. And great to see you. We'll be right back. Thank Thanks, you, Tiffany. Tiffany. Here we go again. <laughs> the name of the cookbook. <laughs>